All right, in this video, I'm gonna take you from this to this. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to use NPM overrides. Now, the reason why you're gonna to wanna to do this is because you'll be able to patch a dependency with a known security issue. You can replace an existing dependency with a fork, or you can make sure that the same package version is used everywhere. All right, so let's take a look at what happens here. I'm gonna be using my DevWP WordPress development training theme but this example will demonstrate how to use NPM overrides when you run into vulnerabilities. So I'm using VS Code and I tested this on Windows and Mac OS. I'm gonna open up the terminal. Since I already have a package.json file, I could just type out NPM install and then hit enter or return. And after some time, you'll see what it installs. All right, so that took a bit of time. But if we look over here, we see we have 47 vulnerabilities, 41 are moderate and six are high. You could always type out NPM audit to get some information about what the issues are. And it will give you a rundown of what these vulnerabilities are. And if you want to fix it, you can type out NPM audit fix or you can type out npm audit fix dash dash force. Now, sometimes this can cause a breaking change. So the first thing I wanna do is I recommend you make a backup of your project. You can do it by just copying the entire folder. But in this case, I do have a script for that. You can see I'm using the dir archiver package over here and I have a script over here. So again, I'll go into terminal, type out npm run dev. And what that does is that it quickly makes a zip file of my project. All right, so if we look at the security issues, we see there's a Semver vulnerability. There's a glob parent issue. And if we scroll up here, you see Chokodar doesn't receive any security updates, specifically in relation to Chokodar 2. So this is where we can use overrides. Now I did previously make another video where I discussed how to use overrides in particular with Chokodar and Glob Parent. I'm gonna do that here, we'll see what it fixes, and then we'll see what we're left with. All right, so over here, I'm gonna paste in my code snippet with the overrides. All right, so what you notice here is that we have this comma, and then we have a new line, we have overrides, and now it's saying that we wanna use Chokodar 3.5.3, and we also wanna use Glob Parent 6.0.2 and then we leave out the trailing comma over here. But notice how we have a comma here after the closing of our curly braces. I'm gonna save that. Let's go back into terminal. Now remember, we're previously using Chokodar 2, so we're gonna be upgrading to Chokodar 3. We have 47 vulnerabilities, 41 are moderate, six are high. The glob parent is high. That severity is a high severity. All right, so we're gonna go down and type out npm update. All right, so after that finished updating, we see what it did. It added 65 packages, it removed 113 packages, and it changed 19 packages. And it also audited 1,640 packages. And now we see we only have 42 moderate severity vulnerabilities, where previously we had 47 vulnerabilities, 41 were moderate and six were high. All right, so we can type out npm audit, and then we see what the issues are here. We scroll up. And basically we see we have the Semver vulnerability here. And we see all the dependencies that rely on it. All right, so to fix this, let's go back here. Let's put in a comma and go to a new line. This is the version we're gonna to wanna to be using. So notice right here, let me make this bigger. We're gonna be using Semver version 7.5.3 and we're not putting in the trailing comma. Let's go back to our terminal. And now let's type out npm update. And after that's finished running, you see it removed seven packages and it audited 1,633 packages. And we see we have zero vulnerabilities. Type out npm audit and zero vulnerabilities. So we are good. This is how you could use npm overrides in order to fix or patch any security issues that might exist in a dependency that may not have been updated. For this demonstration, I did it on Windows, but I also tested it on Mac OS and it works. But just a reminder, make sure to back up your project. 
and then test to make sure that the functionality you're expecting stays the same. Again, for this video, I did use DevWP, which is my WordPress development training theme. If you want to learn more about developing WordPress themes, check out that video. And make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'll be releasing another video that talks about a major issue with NPM. And I'll show you what you can do about it. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, questions, or ideas, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.